one bourbon, one scotch, and one bill. One bourbon, one scotch. All right, here's number two. Uh, we're going to analyze solutions of y prime is equal to y plus one times y minus four. So it's kind of clear. Um, to us what the equilibrium points are. That would be y equals negative one and y equals positive four, right? So let's um, graph these here. So we have y prime versus a y, and then we have negative one, okay? So here's negative one, and here's one, two, three, four. There's positive four. Okay, let me actually shift this over a little bit. Let me re-graph that real quick here. Okay, so let's say this is y, there we go. So here's negative one, and here's one, two, three, four. There we are. Okay, and that's y prime. So we're just going to draw our open dots both at negative 1 and 4. Okay, and this is a uh, an upwards facing parabola. So we're going to have it going like this and coming down and going up again on the right side. Okay, so now we're going to draw our arrows on the phase line. So here y, y prime, which is here, y prime is positive, which means that y is increasing. Right, so we're going to draw an arrow pointing right. Um, down here it's decreasing, y prime is decreasing. Well, y prime is negative, which means our y is decreasing, so our arrow is going to point left, okay? And then lastly, we have our arrow pointing right again because um, y prime is now positive again, which means our y is increasing. Okay, so let's look at our phase line, okay? And we have negative 1 here and a positive 4, and our arrows look like this, okay? Le the one is pointing right, left, and then right again. Okay, so this one here is still unstable. So unstable uh, when y is equal to 4. But we do have two arrows pointing inwards to the negative 1 point, right? So we're going to fill that dot in, fill that dot in, OK? And we're going to call this one asymptotically, I'll just abbreviate, asymptotically stable uh, equilibrium point right here at y is equal to negative 1, OK? So now the last part, we're just going to draw our uh, t versus y, or y versus t graph. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is right here. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1 is right there. We're just going to put our dots on there, negative 1 and 4. We're going to fill in that negative 1, 1, because it's asymptotically stable. We're just going to draw a horizontal line straight through both of these. Okay, so this is our y is equal to positive 4. This is our y is equal to negative 1. Alrighty, and then we're just going to follow the arrows, okay? So when we have, um, when our y is less than 1, any, any um, value below negative 1, it's going towards, our y is increasing towards negative 1. So that means we have something that looks like this, okay? And it's going towards uh, the y equals negative 1 line, okay? And then in between when we're from negative 1 to 4, then we have it going away from the 4 value but towards the uh, negative 1 value, right? Because that's what that arrow means. Okay, and lastly, when we go above 4, then we're just going away from that 4 line, okay? So it goes all the way away. Alrighty, so that's it um, for that problem, and now on to the last one. Bye -bye.